this this has been used in the deer industry for probably I'd say 10, 11 years. Uh, it's pretty common practice. I would imagine that uh, based on what I know about the numbers that somewhere around eight or 9,000, maybe as many as 10,000 deer get lap AI'd every year. The semen has gotten more expensive over the years. Some of it is uh, extremely expensive. We, we see prices uh, varying from $500 a straw up to 28,000 is the most expensive we've ever cracked. And this procedure will allow you to use a portion of a dose of semen rather than a full dose and give you a higher conception rate uh, at the same time. Uh, laparoscopic insemination is used on the upper end of the uh, of the quality of animals in the industry and uh, we have a number of different regulations and surveillance and monitoring programs that are imposed on multiple states and a person can elect to use this procedure uh, if the buck is standing in Minnesota or if the buck is standing in Pennsylvania through the use of frozen semen. Laparoscopic insemination is a tool, like many tools that we use in reproductive medicine. Uh, this tool allows us to uh, improve our genetics more rapidly uh, than if we had live animals standing. 25, 30 years ago, all there was was live animals standing and regulations prevent uh, a producer from Texas in taking his does to Wisconsin, for example, to be bred. So this is a very efficient process. We can ship genetics around in liquid nitrogen containers in the form of semen straws and other forms of genetics and, and improve a, the quality of a herd in a hurry using this procedure. The, the techniques that we use uh, uh, allow these animals to be born within seven to ten days generally of of each other. By synchronizing these does, which is what we've done in order to be here to, to breed these animals, 188 to 208 or 10 days from now, depending on the weather and how many fawns are inside of her, these babies are going to be born. So we can run these animals through as one management structure. The vaccination can be set. The early, early feeding programs and the weaning can be set whenever you, your animals are grouped more tightly to be born at the same time. Our laboratory is designed to um, move into a location. We plan everything months in advance. We can move into a location and, and open her up and set up to be working in 30 or 35 minutes with hydraulic legs on the corners so that the scopes are stabilized and the throughput is reasonable. Everything's in the same place. It's clean. It's in the same area every day. We don't have to go in and set up a mobile, uh, uh, set up an, uh, a satellite lab in somebody's barn and not be able to control the conditions. What makes this business as uh, efficient as it is is that we're we're managing the details. Every detail is managed. We have control points on, on as far as how the animals are prepared coming to us. We send programs ahead of ourselves with the supplies uh, with specific instructions about a 30 page instruction manual goes out to our clients when they book with us and uh, we have generating facilities on board uh, where we work in Amish country where electricity is not available so we can move into a remote facility that doesn't have electricity and and work and do a good job and pressure wash and sanitize and go on to the next place And the lab really facilitates our being able to do a good job. The semen and embryo lab is, is uh, heated and climate controlled, uh, same as with the surgery end of the unit. And uh, everything is designed to be cleaned and moved uh, and go to the next place. Uh, Dr. Stanislaw Bachowski is a board certified veterinarian board certified by the American College of Theriogenologists. 
he and I have been working together for about 10 years. Um, and uh, he, his programs are the programs that, that the industry basically has been using. Uh, Dr. Bychowski developed transcervical uh, ECG programs in Western Canada about 20 years ago. And every program that's uh, been built since then has been built off of his program. Um, challenging dogma is something that we do on a regular basis that usually advances the ball for us. Um, when Dr. Bychowski started uh, uh, doing these programs with transcervical and collecting his own semen and working in the elk industry and so forth, um, those programs were scoffed at. Uh, they said they couldn't work, and they've become the bulwark and the foundation of everything that we do now.